And Dave and Glenda, the power outages are pretty widespread, affecting a number of very large buildings, important buildings here in downtown. One of the outages affecting the people mover here, which is happens to also affect all the people going to the Tigers game. And as you said, power not expected to be restored until midnight tonight. A crippling power outage in downtown Detroit. The blackout turned out the lights. The city county building shut down the people mover and canceled an important event at Cobo Hall. I came in around 7, stood in a line, it stretched all the way towards the back. Um, after a couple of minutes, someone came out and told us that the power was out. Dozens of people showed up at Cobo taking a teaching accreditation exam, but folks were turned away because of the outage. The testing administrators wanted us to stay here till 9 o'clock to see if the power came back on. If it came back on, then we would begin testing. But 9 o'clock came, no power was on, and they, they told us it was canceled. No one has any information, anything to tell you. So basically, you're just like on your own. Also out, the fountain at Campus Marshes Park and the Bistro Restaurant here, that's along with a number of stoplights and a gas station where city employees fuel up their cars, and that includes police officers. No word yet on when power could be restored, but even if workers get the electricity back online, the disruptions could last into tomorrow. The people mover may not reopen, which could affect baseball fans for Sunday's 1 o'clock Tigers game. And the mayor's office tells me that the problem has been identified, but the source of the problem, where the outage occurred, has not been told to their office. So where the origin, where the power went out, if it was a blown transformer, blown wire, we don't know. We do know that overheating is to blame, as we mentioned off the top. This is not a DTE problem. This is actually an operation run by the city, so they are in charge of fixing it. Midnight, again, the deadline, they say, for fixing this problem. As far as the people mover for tomorrow's game, it may be out. We'll be checking on that throughout the night and let you know. Reporting live downtown, Tom Wade, Channel 7 Action News.